Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Veteran Matt. This is part two of my top 10 favorite episodes of the Arrowverse shows. Part one was about Arrow. That video has been out for a couple of days now. Go watch it. Um, this one is going to be about The Flash, my top 10 favorite episodes in The Flash. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. So, coming in number 10, uh, we're going from 10 to 1, so we did in part one of this series. Um, will be 108, uh, Flash vs. Arrow, which is the first uh, Flash and Arrow crossover part of it. At least I think it was on Arrow first and then Flash, but we're not doing Arrow right now, we're doing Flash. Um, and we actually got a fight scene between Barry and Alvaro, which is why it's number 10 on this list, and why it's on this list at all. It's because it was a pretty damn good episode with um, Rainbow Raider, I think his name was, whamming Barry and seeing him being angry, which is something we don't really get on this show that much, um, and taking out all of it out on Oliver and him having to stop him, and he ends up doing it. Um, it was just a good episode in general, just to see both these shows cross over, but also seeing Oliver fight a superpowered person, which he's never really done before until, I guess, Slade, but, you know, super speed wasn't the thing till Flash, so it was definitely interesting to see Oliver interact with that and see him fight it and actually, you know, do something against it. Instead of him just literally standing still, like Barry said, he wasn't, he was moving. So I, I think that's something that this show really has changed since then. Obviously, you know, when Barry is fighting someone without super speed, they are literally standing still. So <laughs> I hope that doesn't change, but, you know, who knows anymore this show. Coming in number 9 is 309, uh, the mid-season finale called The Present. Um, Jay was in the episode. We saw Earth 2 Trickster. Um, Barry and Jay fought Savitar. They learned who Alchemy was, which was Julian. Um, Barry was sent to the future and saw Iris die by Savitar. It set up the rest of the season. This was hands down the best mid-season finale the show has ever had. Um, and it's definitely one of the more memorable ones for me. Um, season three, I love season three, next to two and one. I loved every season of The Flash, but one, two, and three are always up there for me. Um, like I said, season three, the mid-season finale was always really well done, I think. Um, and one of the best the show has ever had. Um, or at least up to this point, who knows for season eight or nine, or if it gets to ten, which it probably will. You know, who knows there, but it'll probably change later. But, hands down, the from what we've gotten so far, the best mid-season finale of the show yet um, was 309. And, again, seeing Jay talking about Savitar, how he knew him, and all that, which is, you know, it fit in with the rest of the show. Um, and helping Barry stop him, but it was really cool to see this Jay in an episode throughout the show. Coming in number 8 is 323 Finish Line, which is Season 3 Finale. Um, it was a pretty damn good finale. Um, I would say it's like the second or third best of the whole from what we've gotten so far. Um, I talk about my favorite finale later and down this list, but it's not number 1, but it's <laughs> close to it in this list. And it was a pretty action-packed finale, which is why I like it so much um because most finales don't um on this show um i think our season five finale had like three maybe two action scenes and that was it um season three was just like i said action packed i mean we had i've won throughout the whole season in this finale even gypsy which is surprising um black flash showed up savitar saw black flash and fought him um and killer frost killed him um which was interesting um and then, you know, turning Killer Frost over, Barry, Wally, and Jay running after Savitar. And Iris killing Savitar in the end to save our Barry's life. So that was always something um, that I liked about the finale. And then seeing Barry sacrifice himself running into the Speed Force and probably not coming back. At least that was Cliffhanger. Obviously he came back. We know that. But at the end the finale, we didn't know he would. <laughs> we didn't know what was going on there. Um... Until season four. Um, but yeah, it's one of the best finales the show has had. Speaking of uh, season four, coming in number seven is 401. 
uh, called Reborn. And I know I said this throughout this whole video, but this is the best premiere. <laughs> we had the best mid-season finale, best finale. Now it's time for the premiere. Best premiere the show's ever had. I would line up next to season four and seven. Or, sorry, five and seven. Four, five, and seven are one of the best premieres the show's ever had. Um, five was just like an O to season one, two, three. Um, and then a mix of five with Nora in there. Um, and they're being an L ball family. Season seven was just hands down the best premiere next to season four. But season four is literally the, like, season seven is number two. Season four is number one on my list for best premieres. And season four. Like, we saw all of Team Flash. I mean, we, you know, there's a month gap with Barry still being the Speed Force from 323. And with um, Iris leading Team Flash now. And which she still kind of is, just back and forth with Barry and Iris, I guess you can say. Or both of them are leaning equally. It depends who's in there. <laughs> um, but it was always, I always liked seeing Iris leading Team Flash, because we don't really get her much as a reporter anymore, so, well, we do sometimes, but not as much as we should, so just getting her as team leader was good for that season, I think the other season's down the road, um, and seeing Barry's new suit, which had one of the best running scenes we've had in the show, um, wanting to save Iris through that, um, windmill farmer, whatever you want to call it, um, was a really good scene. Obviously, it was premiere, so they had more budget, I think, to spend on that premiere than they would in normal episode. But, um, the budget was right well spent. Um, and seeing Barry using his speed in the many human dampener area was cool to see as well. You can't do that now, but it was cool to see him do it then. Um, and obviously, you know, he got way faster than he was in season one, two, and three, so, which stuck throughout the whole show. Um, more so now than ever because of the finale in season 7, but, yeah. Um, coming in number 6 is 614, uh, Death of the Speed Force. I love this episode. It was one of the best in season 6. Um, I say one of. It wasn't the best in season 6, but, um, seeing Wally come back, using, seeing his new powers, like, creating that, uh, lotus flower from his speed, and creating after images of himself to take apart a helicopter and just seeing Barry and Wally team up to take down Turtle 2.0 was really cool to see. And again, you got Wally back, you know. <laughs> um, I mean, if you don't like Wally, I don't know what's wrong with you being to fix it. I mean, Wally's one of the best characters on the show. Um, and, you know, seeing him come back, I wish we had him for a full season, but, you know, what can you do? But. Having him back for one episode that season, I think, really helped the season overall, especially in the mirror arc. Um, helped a lot. And also the death of the Speed Force. I mean, we never thought that would happen on the show, but they pull it off really well. And, yeah. <laughs> um, coming in number five is 115, Out of Time, the episode where Barry first time traveled, where Barry first gets Iris and erase that timeline, um, which is been brought up several times throughout the show because it's a funny moment because everyone's like, Barry screwed up massively on that one, um, which he did. Um, and Weather Wizard was sending a hurricane towards the city. Barry kind of stopped it, I guess. He, he time traveled before it happened, I guess. Who knows? But uh, there's probably an Earth out there somewhere where Barry didn't, and it's just the whole city's underwater. It's Atlantis. You know, it's probably something like that. Um, Central City's Atlantis and, like, Earth... 2,598. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean. It, it's probably some Earth, I'd assume. Um, and then Harrison Wells killed Cisco, and that timeline was erased. It was just a whole timeline mess up episode, um, which was a lot of fun to see. It was a lot of fun to watch. So that's why it's number five. Number four is 418 Lose Yourself, the episode where Ralph died to DeVoe. Um, Harry made a new device to stop DeVoe, and it didn't work, obviously, and, uh, Barry, Kate, and Cisco were in the pocket dimension, um, while DeVoe and Marlies went to Earth, out of the pocket dimension, uh, to fight Team Flash, 
Um, and Iris fought Marlies with a gun, and Marlies had a sword. <laughs> um, so that it was a good fight scene there, and Iris is always being a bad, you know what, uh, bad a word. Um, so it was always good to see that in the show uh, with Iris, especially because we don't see that that much on the show anymore. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty good episode that we had in a long time in season four. Um, mainly because of the writing. <laughs> um, coming in number three is 206 Enter Zoom. This is one of the best episodes in, in season two. Um, the first episode we got was, I don't know if it was with Zoom exactly, but it was with Zoom f meeting Barry and fighting Barry. Um, this was that episode where Zoom broke Barry's back and this, the backlash they had in, in 207 and 208 really came from 206. So that's why it's in this list and it's number uh, three. It's because the writing was just amazing in this episode. It's one of the best of the whole season, as I said. And seeing Zoom grabbing a bolt of lightning, how could you not like that episode? <laughs> like, he literally grabbed Barry's lightning and tossed it back at him. I mean, you don't see that in the show, <laughs> you know? That's something you, you're not going to see for a long time, probably again, unless they bring him back, which by then, who knows, honestly, but... Um... Yeah. <laughs> Coming in number two is 718, the season seven finale, Heart of the Matter Part 2. One of the best finales the show was had, in my opinion. I know a lot of people didn't like it because this season was just bad in general for a lot of you. Um, and a lot of you thought there were some good scenes that weren't in there. I agree, there were some deleted scenes that should have been in there, but they weren't. <laughs> um, but the reason it's in here is because of that big fight we had with Barry vs. Flash and Hart all fighting in that one area with lightning swords. I love that scene so much. That's why it's in here. Also, Jay was in it and Bart and Nora. Um... And I love seeing Jay on the Flash, as I said earlier, I think. So, it was a pretty damn good finale if you look at it as a whole. If you break it down, maybe not so much. But, it just the Lightning Swords in general just made the finale a hundred times better than any finale we've had on this show. Um, because even with COVID restrictions, they managed to pull off a pretty damn good finale. That's why it's number two on this list. Coming in number one on this list, my favorite episode of The Flash of all time... And it will always be this no matter what is an 8, 9, or 10 bring. Is 4 or 15 Flash Time. Which, again, the best episode of Flash has ever done. I think we can all agree on that. <laughs> I mean, Barry's running faster than the nuclear explosion. He was bringing people into Flash Time while a nuke was going off. And still running as fast as he was to run faster than a nuke. We've never seen that done on anything in television history. And also, we barely see that now in The Flash. With them using his speed that fast. So, it, it was a very well done episode. Very good writing. Just seeing Jay and uh, Jesse come back. And interact with Team Flash while stopping this nuke. And Barry lasting longer than all of them. It really showed, you know... One, his speed's a lot more faster than ever before, let alone the show even now. Well, maybe not 718 if you know what happened, but you know what I mean. It's along those lines. So, it was just an amazing episode. And I pretty much just summed it up right there with the nuke going off and all that. But seeing Flash Time still being used in, like, the season 4 finale and um, the season 7 finale even, seeing Flash Time being used... I think really set came back to 415 um, or that one uh, episode where Barry's on trial, but the trial of the Flash, whatever it was called. But you know what I mean? It, it basically came from this episode. This episode really set Flash time into motion for seasons to come since then. Obviously, it has been a new since then, um, which is just cool to see a show do back and forth. Um, so, yeah, that's my... Top 10 favorite episodes of The Flash. If you enjoyed the video, like button down below, subscribe for new. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.